Hey guys, Dr. Victoria Munoz here, and um, I wanted to come to you today to touch on what I feel is a very important topic, and it's regarding steroid epidural injections for back pain. Now, as you know, I'm a pain management specialist. I specialize in regenerative medicine, and um, I see probably the majority of the patients that come in have back pain. In fact, statistically, um, back pain is the number one reason people come to the doctor for pain. So back pain is a pretty common problem, and I felt that you know there may be a number of you that are suffering from back pain, and so you might want to hear about this and um, some, um, some information regarding epidural uh, steroid injections, the pros and cons of it, and um, how to make uh, a good healthcare, uh, healthcare decision uh, for yourself. <clears throat> so if you are living with back pain, you might be familiar with some of the symptoms such as difficulty performing simple tasks, such as tying your shoes, picking up household objects, um, or you know, just simply getting out of bed can be pretty challenging. You might have a limited ability to pay, play sports, work out, or be active with your family and friends. Um, and you know, constant chronic pain affects your mood, your sense of well-being, and you know, ultimately your quality of life. So if you're somebody that suffers from back pain, you may be familiar with, you know, kind of the steps that a lot of patients take um, to get better. Often, these people are desperate for solutions and they will go to the primary care physician in hopes of finding a solution to their back pain. People put a lot of trust in their doctors. And what happens is what your primary care physician will do is he or she will start you on a regimen of opioids or um, prescription strength NSAIDs such as um, naproxen or ibuprofen, um, maybe a muscle relaxer and or physical therapy. Um, what happens is when this doesn't work, which it rarely does, um, these patients um, uh, come back to the doctor still complaining of back pain <clears throat> and the next step is um, your primary care physician or pain man conventional pain management specialist will recommend corticosteroid injections as the next step. Okay, so what is a corticosteroid injection? That might be your next question. Um, corticosteroids are essentially cortisone, and cortisone is a naturally released um, chemical from our adrenal glands in times of stress. It serves a purpose, okay? But um, this is not meant to be in your body in high concentrations for long periods of time. Overall, if um, cortisone, uh, sorry, I lost my train of thought because somebody was just trying to call and um, I had to click it out. Sorry about that. Um, where was I? Uh, over time, um, if cortisone levels remain high in the body, um, you know, your body, soft tissue in your body will start to break down. <clears throat> cortisone works to reduce inflammation and is, is powerful in doing so, but the side effects are not favorable over time, okay? So um, the relief uh, rarely lasts until the next uh, recommended injection, and um, some patients don't even get any relief at all from these treatments. Um, given repeatedly, cortisone uh, corticosteroid injections will serve to further break down the soft tissue that is already damaged, and this is the reason why you're having back pain to begin with. <clears throat> so. Statistically, it's proven that each corticosteroid injection will degrade soft tissue by 5%. It's recommended that the patient receive a maximum of four of these treatments per year times two years. That's the recommended protocol. Some doctors are giving up to 12 a year. That is just outrageous. And typically, by the end of those two years, the patient is um, a candidate for surgery. The damage to the area is now worse than when the patient started treatment for the reasons that I just explained, okay? Now, in my next video, I'm gonna talk about back surgery, but that would be the next step, okay? So, um, how are these injections given? So, a corticosteroid injection is given into the epidural space, which is very close to the spinal cord, and um, as you may or may not know, the spinal cord is a very delicate um, organ, and it is very easily damaged, even by chemical um, exposure. 
which cortisone is a chemical. So, um, <clears throat> so um, serious neurological problems have resulted from these treatments as a result. Pain experts in the FDA have warned against receiving these injections. Did you hear what I said? I said the FDA is warning against receiving these injections. If the FDA is warning against receiving these injections, then you better pay attention because the FDA allows a lot of pharmaceuticals and, um, and um, you know, um, pharmaceutical type treatments um, to be uh, legally used for the purpose of healthcare. And uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes these things aren't tested properly or enough before they reach the consumer and then they end up paying for damages. Well, in this case, the FDA is already warning against it. And um, what happened was a board of experts convened to find wording that minimized the de deleterious effects of these treatments. And that is why they are still used today as a result. So, hey, you as a patient, you have rights. You as a consumer of healthcare have the right to know what the risks and benefits of any treatment given to you are, first of all. And um, if you don't feel that your doctor has given you all the information that you deserve, I recommend you seek a second opinion. But ultimately, as a pain management specialist that specializes in, in regenerative medicine, I see the benefits of regenerative medicine every single day. Okay, and what I tell my patients and what I tell potential patients is that you need to invest in your health, okay? That's my recommendation, invest in your health. Investing in your health is a choice, okay? If you're letting insurance companies dictate <clears throat> what is done to your body for any given condition, you are on a road to chronic illness and disability. Insurance companies do not pay to help get you better. They pay to keep you in the system. The tr traditional approach, approach of pharmaceuticals and surgery does not heal the body or get you better. In fact, just to touch on surgery, back surgery, it's usually um, commonly um, a lumbar laminectomy is done. I'm not going to go into details of what that entails, but the patient will feel better initially, but then within a year, their back pain is as bad or worse, okay? So it's really, for you, a matter of priority. Uh, you have the right to know <clears throat> that there are alternative treatments to these conventional treatments. And what I recommend is that you consult a regenerative pain management specialist and find out what kinds of alternative treatments are available for you, okay? I'm one of those doctors. I have a 98% success rate in my practice. <clears throat> um, I set my patients up for future success in their health. And um, you can find me at drvictoriamunoz.com or you can call my office to set up uh, an appointment uh, at 602-429-9561. And I do offer a free 15 minute uh, consultation. This consultation is not specific about your condition. It helps answer questions about regenerative medicine that you might have before moving forward and scheduling um, an appointment with me to go over your case and to look at your, you know, any imaging or records that you bring in and to discuss treatment moving forward. So I'm gonna upload an article uh, to my doctor page, Regenerative Sports Medicine and Anti-Aging. If you haven't liked that page, I recommend that you go like it right now. I'm gonna be uploading some really interesting information there that I'm not gonna upload on this page. And um, you're gonna wanna tap into that, especially if, because everybody suffers pain, okay? You know, there's nobody that doesn't suffer pain or hasn't had some kind of chronic pain um, for at least a year, okay? So this information is going to serve you and it's going to serve to help you even prevent problems in the future. So if you want a free <clears throat> resource uh, in preventative medicine and regenerative medicine, then you want to go like that page, Sports Medicine and um, Regenerative Sports Medicine and Anti-Aging, okay? So hey guys. <clears throat> Until next time, when I talk about back surgery and how this will affect your quality of life, come see me if you have pain, and um, stay connected, go like my page, and uh, hey, have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye.